Hi and welcome to demonstration of medical helpline web application. This web application provides easiest way for all the doctors, patient and others to get all the required information needed as quick as possible that to irrespective of location. A person new to a particular city can get all the required information regarding all the hospitals and doctors. The main purpose of building this web application is to build an effective communication between doctors and patient. Using this web application, patient can search for a particular doctor and also can request to any doctor of his choice. So let's go ahead and check out how the web application works. The project is developed using ASP.NET as a front-end and SQL Server as a back-end. The system comprises of three major modules as Admin Login, Doctor Login and Patient Login. So let's first start with Admin Login. Here Admin need to provide credentials to access the inner system. So after a successful login, admin has those 5 modules to be accessible. So first model is add doctor. So let's add a doctor into the system. His name, a contact number, address, email id, what kind of specialist a doctor is. So we are writing scheme specialist. Also, admin can insert a photograph of a respective doctor. So, we'll insert a photograph here, upload it, and we can set a password for the doctor. It says that the doctor details have been inserted. The second module is add details, where admin is allowed to add details of hospital, fitness center, as well as pharmacy. So, we will add hospital details. We'll add name of the hospital, address, contact number, email ID of that particular hospital, and total number of beds. Add hospital. So the data has been inserted successfully. The third module is view doctor. Admin can view details of the existing doctors added into this system with the details. The fourth module is view user. All the registered users or patients are listed here with their details. The fifth module is view feedback, where admin can check for feedback from the registered users. This is all about admin login. Let's log out and see the doctor login now. So here yeah, doctor also needs to provide credentials to access the system. So we'll log in. So after the successful login, doctor can access those four modules. First one is view request where he can view all the requests from the patient. So currently there are no requests for this doctor. Second module is view user where doctor can view user's profile with the details. Third one is change password where doctor can change his current password to new password. And fourth one is update profile where doctors can update their personal details. We will get back to this request module again. Now we'll log in with patient login. So if the user or patient is new to this system, we need to register first. So I am the registered user here. So I'll log in into this system. So we can send a request to a particular doctor, it's considering a skin doctor here, yeah. sending a request to him. We can also notify a doctor about our disease from which we are suffering. So we can write skin allergy. So after clicking on confirm request, a system sent a mail to that doctor with the following details so the details has been sent to the doctor we click ok the second module is view details where a user or a patient can search details for hospital pharmacy as well as fitness center so those are the details listed over here hospital details pharmacy details and fitness center you can also search uh, those details by name and their location 
third module is update details where user or patient can update their personal details the fourth is provide feedback here they can notify the admin about the system and submit their feedback so this is all about patient login so we we'll log out from here and we'll check the doctor login module again and view the request for that particular doctor doctor can see a request of that particular patient and also can view the comment which is written by user or patient so this is how the system works thank you